to return to their homeland and help them to rebuild their temple in Jerusalem. We must recognize the importance of supporting the Jewish people in their work for security and peace in the face of extremism all around the world. Lastly, celebrating the day of Cyrus. Lastly, celebrating the day of Cyrus, the grace is not just about honoring the people, it is about upholding the values to promote it. Cyrus believes in the idea of a united world, where different cultures and religions coexist peacefully. He looks beyond the labels of different religions, nationalities, and ethnicities. And we are strive for a more peaceful and secure world with message of tolerance, respect, and understanding remains relevant today more than ever. We all hope for a day beyond the darkness of this land regime in Iran, when all the Iranians will live in peace and harmony with all their neighbors and the whole world, regardless of their religion, nationality, and ethnicity. I believe current and familiar experience is the closest to the vision of the Paris Great. I see my freedom loving Kuwait and France here. We're gonna chant once for you. Hey, hey, ho, ho, come on, it's in Moscow. Hey, hey, ho, ho, come on, it's in Moscow. Massacred 
about 22,000 people in three days. Nobody came to our support. Nobody had any Middle East, no Middle Easterners in the West had any protests going. The UN didn't issue any resolution in 2000, but the Israeli people supported us. The Prime Minister of Israel supported the Iranians. We started sending messages directly at the Iranian people. Then in 2022, when the mass uprising happened, hundreds of Iranians being killed. Again, the world was silent. The UN, well, the UN jumped into action and appointed the Islamic regime as the chairman of the Social Forum of Human Rights Council at the UN. But again, it was just Israel who stood with us. So, we get them. We see how the world is treating us and how the world is treating them. We are natural allies. So, obviously, we're going to stand with them. We're fighting the same despot, the Islamic jihadist that has taken over the region, and now the West. And now we have to be afraid that they might come here and we should maybe leave this area. It's somebody needs to wake up, and it's time for all of us to wake up in the night and connect and say enough is enough. Thank you. And now it's a time. Thank you so much, my good friend, the first one who called the brutal act of Israel business. I think that the right to the as the International Terrorist Act. Thank you, Mr. President. for my community. President, say please. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to celebrate some of the great and some of the other Jews, Iranian, Canadian, anyone who stands for freedom against communism, fascism, Islamism. I like to think that you know, history is in, in the favor of progress. And I look to the East and see a country that has regressed in the last 2,500 years. Cyrus the Great, it's good to see how it's in human life, where it's freedom. It's your daughter Zionist, arguably. The reason why the Second Temple was built is because he saved the vision of Babylon and decided it was the right to return about the second one. We all know that. Right? I think we can only do it towards our Iranian brothers, just as our country was occupied by foreign invaders who hated us. So it is. So we're all occupied right now. And we're going to end our occupation of the Islamic Republic. There's a reason why the Israelis failed this day more than others. Will not let the Iranian people go visit the tomb of the founder of the Persian Empire. It's because the forces of evil have been history, their culture, Take anything that gives us work that we're giving to. We attack it. You see it in our schools, you see it in our schools, you see it there and But I have to say, there is nothing at all about the Islamic Republic. They don't know it. Those are the words of Khomeini. They have said that there is no national identity here. That is an imperialist concept. I disagree. The IFSC is not the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, it is the Islamic Revolutionary Guard. They are not just stated, they are not Iranian. They are Islamic. The goal is to spread the revolution. How do they spread the revolution? October 7th. That has always been our goal. That has always been what they wanted to do. They said it loud, they said it clear. Some of us listen to the same as the first of them. But that has consequences. Okay? October 7th is the consequences of our ignorance. We can no longer do that. It is our failure that we stand up. And we fight together. We fight as one. We are common enemies, Islamists, Fascists, Tolerants. They all but destroy us. And if they are not involved in children, the Iranians, and Canadians, we are together. We are not going to be a hundred brothers, and they are not going to massacre in their lives. We all must stand together and fight together. For fun. So we are still today because it's important not to bring a fight against us. That's fun. We can see the force of the other and we can fight against them. But we're not fight for something. We want to fight for your history, for your culture, for what's good in the world. And that's what fires the ground is. Right now we're in this process. There's no fires to protect, there are fires to break. And if there's something 
It has a lasting effect on all the new people. All the other reasons, from science to day to ABC, are kind of issues. And all the terrorists go on, but terrorists go on in people as well. So thank you so much for standing up with us today. And it's the better of good, so I have a fun background, so I have a fun background. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniel. Our last speaker. Hooray, my last caller. I wish you had no empty life to go on in Ottawa. Thank you to all for staying with the people of Iran. Thank you, Stephen, for staying against anti-Semitism. You are a true patriot for peace and freedom and love. Thank you for coming here. We are for Stephen. I want to thank you very much for being here, and I'm grateful for this opportunity, not just to stand with the Iranian community, but with the Jewish community, a community that knows what it's like to be targeted by terrorism. I'm going to be concise because the reality is there are there's a counter protest coming here, and for the safety of everyone here and the safety of those in uniform whose job it is to keep us safe, I want to be concise. What has happened is disgusting. What happened in October 7th, but also what has continued to be perpetrated here in Canada on our soil, targeting the Iranian community, harassing and intimidating them, and all for the fact to one group, the IRGC. That is a group that must be on the list. That is a group that needs to be held to account for the crimes that they have committed, and that includes starting down flight past M53, which not only had many Canadians, it had one of my friends. We must stand against hate, we must stand together. And this is an issue that I want to reassure you, that I will continue to stand with each and every one of you at Parliament, at King's Park, at Toronto City Hall, even at Richmond Hill. Wherever there is hate, we must stand up and condemn it each and every time this disgusting scourge near this ugly head. I, I have so much more I want to say, but again, I can see those in uniform who are anxious for everyone's safety here, so I will conclude it here. And I will thank each and every one of you for coming out and standing together with this community with the reading committee, with our Jewish brothers and sisters, and standing up to hate. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. We cannot for a person who fights for freedom in Iran for four years by this year of God of Iran. Thank you for everyone for coming here. Okay. Thank you for everyone for accepting our invitation. Uh, police officers forces to finish it sooner, and the uh, force of evils are coming from uh, the other side of the street. And it's really shame. Send us a country. If you fight for freedom, they're going to throw your bank account. But if you fight for Hamas terrorists, police are going to protect them. By the way, thank you, police officers, for keeping us safe. Thank you everyone for accepting our hearing of attention. United we stand, united we fall. Thank you everyone. Bring you on, I'm a great time. Thank you everyone.